What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and in this video we are checking out another group of budget iPhone XR cases, this time from the folks over at Spigen. They were kind enough to actually send over four of their different styles to compare and test out, and if you missed my last video where I checked out a few other budget XR cases, I'll leave a link on screen to that, but we're going to do sort of the same thing here. I'll go over each of these cases one by one, I'll talk about what I like and what they offer as far as protecting your phone, and I'll also do some side-by-side -side comparisons so you can get an idea of maybe which one works best for you. And of course, I'm also going to toss them on the ground a few times just to make sure they can hold up against your sort of everyday drops and spills, because if the case breaks, or even worse, if the phone breaks, that pretty much makes them useless and we definitely don't want that. It's actually been quite a while since I've checked out any Spigen cases, but Spigen does make some of the most popular budget cases on the market, with most of their products selling for about 20 bucks or less. And in this lineup for this video, we actually have the Ultra Hybrid that retails for $11.99, the Neo Hybrid, which comes in at $14.99, the Rugged Armor for $12.99, and the Tough Armor, which is the most expensive of the bunch, at just $16.99. If you're interested in learning more about any of these cases, or maybe you want to even pick one up for yourself, I'll leave links to all of Spigen's iPhone XR cases at their cheapest prices down below in the video description, so be sure to check down there if you are interested. But without wasting any more time, let's kick things off with my personal favorite of the bunch, the Ultra Hybrid. If you've watched basically any of my case videos that I've done in the past, Past, you know that I really appreciate a good crystal clear case that lets you show off your phone a bit, and the Spigen Ultra Hybrid does just that. Especially with a phone like the 10R, I'm sure most people don't really want to hide the color they chose, so this really is a perfect case for letting your device shine through. The Ultra Hybrid case actually has a pretty interesting material makeup. It's a combination of a polycarbonate back with a rubber TPU bumper, so it's a pretty firm and sturdy case overall, but the corners and edges are flexible enough to easily take it on and off the phone. What that also means is that since this case isn't entirely rubber, you won't see much yellowing over time. I also found that it's pretty decent at combating scratches, and while it does attract quite a lot of fingerprints, the case can be wiped clean really easily. Most importantly though, the bright red color of my iPhone XR shines through and looks really nice. And what I also like about this case is that there's no textures, no design, not even a logo anywhere. It's just a super clean and minimal crystal clear case. Along the edges, you get a raised lip to protect the screen from hitting any flat surfaces, which is always a plus. The volume buttons and side button are covered, but can still be pressed easily, and down at the bottom, the lightning port and speakers are easily accessible when you need them. Overall, I do really like the plastic and rubber build on this case, and I like how clean and simple it is too. And especially with the colorful iPhone XR, this is just an excellent crystal clear case that not only shows off your phone, but should also do a nice job of protecting it as well. I realize though that some people require a little more protection for their super expensive phones, so the Spigen Tough armor might be a better option. I think this is the toughest and sturdiest case of the group, and this is actually the only one with an interesting two-piece design. The inner layer is a thick and flexible rubber housing that's going to do a lot in absorbing any impacts and keeping your phone protected, but there's also an outer plastic backplate that's going to keep things tough and sturdy as well. It sort of clamps around the back and sides of the phone and rubber inner layer, keeping everything in place while also offering a rigid element for some added protection. And while this case is a thicker, more rugged style, it's slim enough to be relatively comfortable in the hand even with one-handed use. Unfortunately, you don't get to show off your iPhone XR much with this case. There's just a cutout around back for the Apple logo, but if the name of the game is protection, that's a sacrifice you'll have to make. Along the back, you can feel the difference in texture between the rubber inner layer and plastic outer layer, but with so much rubber, the plastic back is sort of ignored and it doesn't make it slippery or uncomfortable to hold. There's definitely a lot of grip to be had with this case all around. You've got even thicker sides with covered buttons once again for volume and power, and around the bottom, everything is still open and easy to access. And one thing you'll notice right away is just how thick the corners and edges really are with this case. You've got a lot to absorb any drops or spills, so this case is definitely going to be able to handle almost anything. And one last little side note here, there's also a built-in kickstand around back that flips out so you can rest your phone on a table and catch up on your favorite YouTube videos, which is a pretty useful little addition. All in all, like the name suggests, the Tough Armor is definitely the case to get if you're looking for the maximum amount of protection for your phone. If you'd rather keep things a little slimmer, the Rugged Armor is also a solid option. This is a single piece case that's primarily made of rubber, so it's obviously super flexible all the way around, and once again is built to absorb any impact. It's got sort of a soft touch feel with the Spigen logo around back, and also a carbon fiber pattern along the top and bottom, which I kind of like, and I think it adds a little design element to the case. And overall, while this is the Rugged Armor case, which might make it sound a little thicker or more bulky, 
bulky, it's actually a pretty sleek case that's very comfortable on the hand. Once again, you're mainly just getting that cutout around back for the Apple logo, so you won't be able to show off your phone much at all. But everything is completely covered and protected here, which is important, including your volume and power buttons on both sides of the phone, and you've also got precise cutouts for everything you need down at the bottom. This is a really form-fitting case with no bulky corners or thick edges. It's very simple overall, but it does offer edge-to-edge, corner-to-corner protection for the phone with a raised lip to keep the screen safe too. And while it may not be as thick and sturdy as the Tough Armor, this Rugged Armor case, I think, is a nice compromise in giving you a slim and stylish design while also keeping your device relatively safe. The final case up for consideration here is the Spigen Neo Hybrid, and I think this is the most interesting one of the bunch as far as the materials and design. It's technically a single piece case, but it's made from two noticeably different materials, a soft and flexible rubber inner layer and a rigid hard plastic shell outer layer that runs mainly along the sides. You've got sort of a textured design pattern across the rubber back portion with also a foam and metallic finish with the plastic along the edges, and in the hand, this is probably the second thickest case of the group with all that material. It's not particularly noticeable, but having held each of these cases one after another, there's definitely just a little more bulk to this one compared to some of the others. You get basically nothing showing through the case on the back, so if you want to show off the color of your phone, this is definitely not the case for you, but that's okay because what you lack in color, you make up for in protection. You've got individual rubber pieces over the volume and power buttons, and and once again, complete cutouts across the bottom for everything that you need. There's also that same complete raised lip along the screen to keep it from rubbing against a table or any other flat surface. And I have to say, while I do like this case, I was sort of concerned that the plastic elements to this case would crack or break after a couple drops. So I definitely wanted to put this one in particular to the test, which I of course did, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Side by side though, you can see that the Neo Hybrid, Tough Armor, and Rugged Armor all have essentially the same rubber design on the inside, which is actually pretty interesting and makes all of these cases very comparable. The only difference is that cutout for the kickstand on the tough armor on the right there, and obviously with the crystal clear ultra hybrid, you're not getting any sort of texture or pattern, and it's polycarbonate, not rubber on the inside as well, so that's a big difference. As far as the thickness, the tough armor is far and away the biggest of the bunch, which you can easily tell. The rest are pretty close in their size and overall shape too even, but like I mentioned earlier, I do think that the Neo Hybrid with the plastic and rubber design is just a little bit thicker in the hand than the other two cases. I do also want to mention that while a case by itself is great for keeping your phone protected, each of these cases is screen protector friendly, so you can add one more element to your setup if you need to. I actually just did a video featuring Spigen's own Easy Fit tempered glass screen protectors, and first off, they work great, but they're also literally the easiest screen protector installs ever, so I'll leave a link on screen so you can check that video out if you missed it. But you don't have to use Spigen Zone tempered glass screen protectors if you don't want to. Any one you choose will work fine. These cases are cut so you don't get any pinching or squeezing along the screen that might affect the screen protector. There's a decent gap all around and plenty of extra space to make it all work. So obviously, I did want to make sure that just under your normal everyday scenarios that these cases could first off protect my phone, which is the important bit, but also hold up on their own because there's nothing worse than having a case that cracks or tears after the first incident. I'm not doing anything too scientific here, obviously, and I'm not purposely trying to destroy anything, but I did toss these cases around from about four or five feet up a bunch of times, trying to sort of hit them on different angles against my hardwood floor. I was most concerned with the clear ultra hybrid and the black and gold neo hybrid because both of these cases had that plastic element to them that looked like they might be easy to crack. But fortunately, after the seven or eight drops with each case, not only was the phone perfectly fine, but the cases actually held up well too. There was wasn't any major cracks or tears or any sort of damage whatsoever. And I realize that everyone's experience with these cases is going to be completely different. Phones tend to crack in mysterious ways, but in my own experience, just under average everyday circumstances, I personally felt like my phone was definitely protected fairly well with each of these cases. I have to say, no matter what case you end up getting here, Spigen offers a really solid product at a great price. I don't know how they do it, but every year with most of the major flagships, they offer a really extensive lineup of cases at ridiculously cheap prices, and they continue to deliver very popular and well-made products each and every time. If you're getting a new phone this holiday season and want a nice priced but well-made name brand case to protect it, I highly recommend checking out Spigen's lineup, because they do have a little bit of everything here, and I think they offer a really solid product, especially for the price. So hopefully
hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what case you're rocking on your own phone, if anything, in the comments down below. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.